let's start with the host and uh, give us the backstory on how you acquired the film rights to this project. The Host was one of the first scripts we saw when we started Open Road Films a couple of years ago. And we met with Stephanie Meyer and the producers in Cannes in May of 2011. Uh, we jumped on it, we got involved immediately, we were very aggressive. And uh, we've been nurturing this along with the filmmakers for close to two years now and we're super excited that the movie's finally coming to theaters on Friday. And uh, just to clarify, this is a very different storyline than Twilight. But Stephanie herself has said people might see a couple of similarities theme-wise. Uh, you're a savvy marketing guy. I would imagine you will try to take advantage of that massive Twilight audience with this film as well. Sure. On the one hand, we want to be reminiscent uh, for some of a huge, successful, and frankly terrific franchise like Twilight. But the movie is not, and we don't want to appear to be derivative of it. Uh, the movie stands on its own. It's a terrific story, a great book, and I think Andrew Nichol uh, has made a, a fantastic film. Who also uh, directed Gattaca. Um, what's interesting about Open Road is it was created by two movie chains, AMC and Regal. Uh, as we saw, bigger studios pare back the number of films they were putting out. There's some open theater space, and then Open Road comes out of that. Say five or ten years ago, if Open Road was around back then, would you have been able to acquire the film rights to something like The Host? Certainly it would have been much more difficult for us to, to get in as early as we did. Um, and again, we only released our first film about a year and a half ago. So it would have been much more difficult, to your point, five or ten years ago to, to get in with the caliber of film that we have so early in our existence with movies like The Host, End of Watch that you mentioned, The Grey with Liam Neeson from last year. So we've been very fortunate uh, that we've been able to work with so many great filmmakers and, and had the privilege of distributing many great films so early in our existence. And can you give us a sense on how the bit, now that you have, you've, you've had a fair number of films come out now, how the business model is coming together, I mean, what the profitability story looks like? Um, I'm, I'm thrilled to say we're ahead of plan. Open Road has, has been a, a great success. Um, I, I believe our partners at AMC and Regal are very pleased with our progress and success and their support speaks volumes um, to us in, in terms of uh, their feelings. Uh, but so far we're, we're ahead of plan and we're just thrilled about that. Here in Silicon Valley, there's a lot of buzz about this Steve Jobs biopic Jobs, which you have the rights to. Initially, the thought was uh, it would be coming out in April. What can you tell us on the release plans? Uh, we acquired the picture just before its world premiere at the Sundance Film Festival in January. And the original thought was, in working with the filmmaking team, that we would try and rush it out in April and capitalize on some of the buzz coming out of Sundance. But that just proved to be too aggressive a plan. So we'll be announcing a new release date shortly. My guess is it'll be uh, sometime over the summer. Uh, we're trying to finalize that now. But the movie is, is really terrific. Ashton Kutcher, in, in particular, gives a fantastic performance as Steve Jobs and a, a super supporting cast as well with Josh Gad, Dermot Mulroney, Matthew Modine, and others. But the movie's very, very good. Josh Stern, the director, did a terrific job. And you have always been known as a guy who can find good projects and market them in a really smart, savvy way compared to the big players. Give us a sense on how you might go about marketing that film uh, as opposed to, say, some others. Well, it's a movie about uh, truly a genius, an extraordinary man, and uh, perhaps uh, the most unconventional uh, man of our times, so certainly we're not going to run a conventional marketing campaign about such an unconventional uh, person like, like Steve Jobs. So there certainly will be a, a, more, a, a more detailed focus on digital, more than broadcast, things like that. Uh, but we've, we've got a few things up our sleeve, and uh, uh, when we announce the release date and start the marketing campaign in earnest, uh, happy to talk to you more about it, but we're very bullish on the movie.